the way I bought them is the way I'm selling them. Okay. The doctor had them for probably 20, 30 years, I guess. He was a surgeon in World War II. He was a surgeon in Korea. Uh -huh. He was a surgeon at Marshfield. And his son contacted me because father passed away four years ago at 94 years old and said, I've got all my dad's coins and bills. He said, are you interested in Hey guys, Len here. As you can see, I am at a flea market. And flea markets can be a great place to find good deals on things, but not always. You really have to know what you're doing. You really have to know what you're looking for. And I wanna show you a booth with a coin dealer and ask you the question, would you buy coins from this dealer. So let's go over there and check him out. Doing good, how are you? I'm cooking in the summer. Yeah. Warmer day. Do you buy coins? I do. Um, Matter of fact, this is all out of a doctor's estate out of Marshfield. Oh, is that right? Yep. There were 931 silver dollars. There were um, 44 gold coins, of which I've got six left. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I have a 1913 D quarter eagle and I have a 1914 D gold Indian head eagle they're both PCGS MS 62 what do you give for those I don't know I'd have to look it up and see I'm an antique dealer I'm not a coin dealer okay I, have no idea. Well, I mean it depends on what you want for them. what you want for it and what I sell it for are two different things right Have you had all of these coins authenticated? The way I bought them is the way I'm selling them. Okay. The doctor had them for probably 20, 30 years, I guess. He was a surgeon in World War II. He was a surgeon in Korea. Uh -huh. He was a surgeon at Marshfield. And his son contacted me because his father passed away four years ago at 94 years old and said, I've got all my dad's coins and bills. He said, are you interested? I said, can I can I look at your thirteen qu uh, quarter eagle there? I got a glass here someplace. Do you? So, what is your best price on this one? I'd sell it for six hundred dollars. Six hundred? Yes. And it's it's damaged above the head. It, it looks like it's actually been filled in. Probably. It probably was in a piece of jewelry, more than likely. Yeah, that makes sense. If it was in a bezel. More than likely. I don't know. I mean, I. As opposed to this one. Oh my goodness. That's very expensive. But it's a, well, rare, it's a pretty rare one from what they tell me. And that one I'm going to sell for $800. I mean, but that's, that's like 
$300 over Redbook. They're, these things are 550 Well, he must have done research to buy them. Some, you didn't. You some. didn't take the guy's word for it. Bought it. Yeah. His son was around. The guy was from there for three years already. Oh, I see. And the son just wanted to get rid of him. He had five daughters that he's putting through medical school. So is... let's just take this guy's word for it that this guy just wanted to get rid of his dad's coins and you know he had all these bills all these kids to put through college whatever let's assume that this guy's not telling the truth which i don't okay are you teaching your family what you have and what its value is guys we have to educate our families if we're coin collectors if we're stackers we have to educate our families what we have what it's worth so some fast talking guy with a little bit of money in his pocket doesn't take advantage of them. I just want to move them on. But this one I would sell uh, 575 my bottom on that. Yeah, but I mean that's for an MS65. You're charging MS65. That's a mint state coin that's uncirculated. You know more about it than I do. But you're comparing it to a damaged coin. You know more about it than I do. I know oh. how much I paid for it. I'm, I'm putting over what I paid for it. Oh. So. Yeah. But the doctor was I mean, stupid. gray sheet on that should have been like 375, 385. You shouldn't have, you, yeah. yeah 400 would be the max that you pay for, we're talking. for that quarter. Yeah. Or for that. Yeah. Can't do it. Yeah. Did you need some help? No, I need some help. So why would I make a video like this? Why would I assume the worst of this individual who is obviously selling coins way over market value? Because people like this are bad for the hobby. They are bad for the hobby. There are people who are going to see this guy who are new to coin collecting and he's telling somebody something is rare that's not and they're going to overpay for it they're going to get burned and they're going to give up on the hobby this is why it's so important if you're a new coin collector that you buy from reputable dealers whether they're online or in person or you go to coin shows where there's accountability this guy would not get away with this at another coin show. Other coin dealers would be calling him out. You better believe it. So guys, you have to take the time to learn coin grading at least a little bit and to start to know coin values, key dates, and things like that so that on an impulse, you don't get burned by some fast-talking antique dealer who claims to know nothing about coins, but he knew enough to put them out there. For some reason, nothing's underpriced. Everything is miraculously overpriced by close to double its value. So I hope you guys liked the video. If you got something out of this, please smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, I hope that today is the day I earn your subscription. We will see you on the next one.